Hi there, Aquarius. Welcome. Golden Empress Collection here, and it's time for your July readings. We're going to take a look and see what the ancestors need you guys to know in regards to love, money, and career. Make sure you're checking the description box below. It's going to basically tell you whatever it is you need to know about me, how to contact me, what's been going on. Friday Night Love Tarot, that's your weekly. Okay, you got to love it. We go live and it's like, wow, energy is a trip. So love relationships here. What are you doing? Aquarius, you're at a faded moment in life. And I'm not sure you really know how or why you're supposed to make the decision that you're supposed to make. Okay. There is something that's happening though. And it's, it's really got you thinking. It's got you seriously going around and around with something that may have affected you. I hope this pans out well for you. Okay. I'm just going to say that right now. I think that's what you want as well. There's something that it's, I don't know if this is options or if this is confusion. Confused. Someone is confused. Yeah. And I don't think that somebody understands what they're really truly asking for, or that there's someone here that feels like someone is not doing something possibly for you. You feel like someone's not doing something for you because they have other intentions and that's not what you want. Yeah. It's like a family decision, something to do with money, something to do with finances. I do think that you might be overthinking something here. Okay, Aquarius, I do feel like that in regards to love. You keep thinking about the past. Maybe this is a Virgo energy that you're thinking about. It could potentially be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Sagittarius. But there's something that you just keep overthinking. You keep reevaluating. And it's causing you confusion with someone that maybe you really truly want to be with. This is someone you are fated to be with. This is someone you have a family with. But this is a large decision about the way your finances are going to be taking shape and taking form. Um, I think that whatever this action is, if somebody keeps withdrawing, I know that there's going to be someone who's extremely unhappy. There's someone who's not getting what they want. I feel like there's some sort of desire type of energy here. Between the nine and this seven... I don't know. It, it, this is someone causing a problem for someone else. I don't know why that it's sitting in the love energy, though. It's two different opinions. Because you have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's two different opinions. And I'm going to tell you, someone is not over... It, how, do I, how do I explain this? Someone is not too proud to set someone else up for failure here. And I think that's what the problem is, is someone is trying to say, set them up for failure. And if they won't do what someone says, then it's a problem. They withhold. Emotional lack in some way, shape or form is kind of what it feels like. Mm. Aquarius. Mm. You might be married to this person. Yeah. Yeah, and because there, there's a security issue here. And I don't know, this person is more in their feelings and not necessarily understanding the opinion or uh, some something to do with the equation and how you need it to be. I don't know, I'm, I'm telling you. We're going to look at your career real quick. Life path, soul purpose, energy. Something you want is delayed. Yeah, and it's causing you to distress. With this seven vibration here, it is causing you to stress. But please remember that this is the seven, seven portal energy, right? What are you choosing to manifest in this lifetime? You have someone that is around you that is of commitment, that is of love, that is of perseverance. And there's some sort of way that you're communicating with this person. And I think it's a turnoff for somebody. Okay. Whatever it is that you are getting ready to invest in, this is supposed to be for your stability here. And I think for some of you guys, and this is going to kind of go with the love aspect though. Yeah. 
<laughs> this this reality situation is that it's actually being affected by your love life here. You're not about to sit here and provide for anybody that's not providing for you. That's what I'm picking up on here, right? You want my loving. You want me to be supportive of you. You want me to do something that benefits, you know, the whole family with that 10 of pentacles we saw. Then I'm going to need you not to reject what it is that I'm saying here, right? There is some sort of confusion in someone who's not taking action, right? Somebody wants someone to invest here. They do, but someone's playing games. Mm-hmm. Somebody's priority is not where it's, it's like somebody's trying to control someone's priority. How can you control someone's priority? If someone shows you that something is not priority, they have a reason for it. And there's no need to be confused about whatever that is. I don't know why someone doesn't understand that. And so somebody decides to take this opportunity. There's somebody cock block in here too. It's a cock block type of energy but they don't want to take responsibility for it. They want to blame it on someone else. So I don't know if this cock block energy is because someone is, um, mm, mm -hmm, telling you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aquarius, let's talk about this because I, and this can go vice versa either way. This could be you, this could be them. So take it as it resonates and leave the rest at the door. Listen to what I'm telling you right now. You have everything going in your favor. You have the love and light and support that you currently need and you desire, right? You've got someone that wants to help you, but they need you to understand that if you choose to invest in some sort of new venture, possibly to attack, I, I just, I feel like some sort of an attack energy where someone has to be on the defense. That's not what needs to be done. Someone doesn't understand that someone has had some sort of download here with this four of swords about the moves that need to be made as far as finances are concerned. There's a game afoot here, and I don't think that somebody sees what it actually is. Aquarius, let me tell you something. Be ready, this because this is you. You want to make some sort of move, and I, I get it. I respect it. I understand it. But there's something here that if you are unhappy about someone else, you got to learn to work through that. You have to learn to work through that because there's something on the table. There's a bigger picture here that's making it to where there's true happiness with the things that need to happen for you. There's a bigger picture here and I don't think you see it yet, Aquarius. I think somebody else might be sensing it and picking up on it with that Queen of Cups, but you need to stay in a nurturing aspect. Recognize what true nurturing and what it's supposed to be. Yeah, don't do things from a, look, emperor energy, right? I'm telling you, don't make moves that you're gonna regret because this is your money line. Don't make moves you're gonna regret. You see what I'm saying? Aquarius, listen here. You got a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy that's getting ready to come in here and do some sort of fact check type energy. Okay. And I think that it would be better. It would be better if somebody stayed kind in this particular situation. Yes, is what I just heard. See what I'm saying? Because if somebody is choosing to cause some sort of rift, okay, or cause some sort of harm because of the way that they feel, and this could be towards you, this could be you doing it to someone else, there will be a loss. And I, this is your money line, okay? So when we look at this, it's really sitting back and being 
receptive to the energy that is around you because there's definitely, you have a pair here, right? So you could be married. You could be in this situation for the long haul. There's a, there's a drive. There's a force about sex behind all of this. That's what I'm saying. There's a union and a bond here that is not being fulfilled because somebody wants something. Somebody is trying to draw on someone else's energy. And I feel like this person knows that they're being sabotaged. There's someone here that says, if you want me to do this, it's going to hurt us in the long run this way. That's just what I feel. And I feel like somebody knows that. And whatever this is, it's, it will hit the pockets. It's going to hurt. Something spiritual. Because there's this Pisces, Pisces energy all over this. So there's very something, something very spiritual. It's a communication about not regretting some sort of an offer. Not regretting some sort of an action that needs to be taken and whatever. Here's the other thing. Okay. Aquarius, I do know that there's also an air sign energy or somebody slept with someone else. Okay. I feel like there's a boyfriend here that's about to get ghosted. But the reason the boyfriend is getting ghosted is because there's some sort of conversation or the boyfriend ghost. There's a conversation that comes in from the significant other or the husband. Yeah. Something's been revealed here. I don't know. I, I don't know what this is, but I feel like it's a little on the deadly side. It, it's not necessarily showing, but it's definitely a threat. So there could be some sort of action here. I don't know. I feel like an office setting in some way, shape or form and somebody showing up to let it be known that someone is property here. Someone has ownership over someone and they would regret it if they kept trying to be all jokey jokey with their person. Oh, yeah. Here's the other thing. Someone has already been through a situation where they've been left before. And so they're a little more keen or they're a little more knowledgeable about what it looks like when somebody's trying to leave them. They're not going to get set up for failure twice. Okay. Whatever that is. And there might be some scarred energy behind that. But if someone is planning on leaving a relationship here, just know that someone is hip to the game. Okay. That's definitely what I feel. I really would like to go ahead and let's go ahead and do an ancestor message here. Yes, let's do an ancestor message. We're going to pull out a little more Rider Waite on this, though. No oracles tonight. Um, this was the kind deck, though. I call this my kind deck. So I think that, you know, overall positivity. I know there's there's some scandal here because the cup that's sticking out the most is the snake. I mean, if you do, if you play with snakes, then get ready to be bit by a snake. All right. That's just what I'm thinking. Right. If you want to hang with snakes you're gonna get bit by snakes so you've got an opportunity to really help yourself to find some sort of peace and clarity and just be the happiest you can possibly be you know enjoy your children that's also another thing you know especially if you have children in your life for a reason they really take up a lot of your time there's a lot going on there uh, you might want to make sure you are investing in your children okay don't let someone else invest in your children. You invest in your children. All right. What else? July, baby. What are we doing for July? Aquarius, let's do an ancestor message. What's the vibration? And then, of course, we're going to step over into the Vimeo extended link, you guys. That we're going to, we, we normally talk about love and whatever comes out from this. Any other spiritual messages that need to come out, too. All right. We talk about money, career also. Anything that pops out. Okay. Oh, I like that. The Queen of Wands. The spiritual message. Ooh, tower moment. What? The overall message here. Doing something unexpected, but I don't know about that tower moment right there. What? Yeah, I see three of pentacles. Something you're supposed to be working on. Again, there could be a lover that's in the mix. I just heard possibly there's someone that's a boy toy. Ooh, someone has a boy toy. Yeah, they do. And look, maybe this boy toy is getting put on hold. That's what Spirit wants to talk about. This is someone you work with. Boy toy is getting put on hold, huh? Oh, because somebody knows. Somebody's secret then came out. Maybe a supervisor is paying attention to this little older woman, younger man scenario here. Because Aquarius, this is you. And listen, I've, I, have you ever seen those movies where someone gets involved with someone who's a little bit younger than them and they end up getting hemmed up because the person's psychotic? 
right? And coming for him and trying to cause problems and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Out of the mouth of children is what I just saw with this vibration right here. Mm. There could be someone who is cheating. There is a feminine here that is cheating. Yes, you cannot make that up. We're going over into the Vimeo Extended and somebody done been found out. It came back out. Do you hear me? Check that out. So your spirit guides are telling you, listen, there's someone here who wants to cause someone pain, someone harm. Someone needs to apologize for the things that have been done, the things that have been said. And I'm going to tell you right now, Aquarius, you might need to get to work. Okay. There's been some real petty, shady stuff that's happened here. Somebody might be lying on you about someone that's a friend. I'm telling you, just get ready. Get ready to deal with this because uh, it's coming out. Vimeo extended link is going to be below. Friday Night Love Tarot is your weekly and guardian angel messages for those other messages that just touch your soul. Okay, this is for you. I'll see you guys over there on the other side. Peace and out, Christ.